Hello guys, today we have a review on the latest update from Xiaomi for Mi 10T Pro, it's Mi UI 1307, so that's the latest update that I've got uh, now in November 2022, so basically let's check it out, how it works, uh, what the new features and what is the ability of this uh, firmware. So basically now Xiaomi update my phone, Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro once per month I guess, so that one came in a month after the previous one, 1306. So let's see, let's have a look, I've got this configuration, so my 10T Pro, 500mAh battery, Snapdragon 865, RAM 8GB plus 3, it's a memory extension that works from UI 12.5, which I can mention to you later, IPS screen and uh, such uh, Full HD plus resolution. So let's check the settings, let's check the, what they added here, and then go on overall stability of the system. So security status. Uh, Google Play system update is 1st of October, uh, for security update is the latest November update, so that's basically what they definitely brought to this update is the security update. Alright, uh, let's move on on the settings, so I've got SIM card, uh, for SIM card basically you have remember SIM preferences, mobile data, you've got smart dual SIMs, it what was working before and previous one but still is here. So it means switch to the secondary SIM card and use this mobile data automatically when current network is poor, so maybe quite convenient. I tried many times, but it didn't work for me, so it's usually keep the same uh, SIM card, so I just keep it this way. Use mobile data during Volte calls on the secondary SIM, so it's also quite popular. All right, I will hide my number and go back. Uh, okay, Wi-Fi settings, you've got additional settings, still same, you can select Wi-Fi region, uh, I can just underline for you that this MIUI 13 EU, so means that it's not uh, Chinese, it's based on Chinese, but it's not Chinese software, but it's not also international and global one, so basically adopted Chinese uh, software, which was translated and works quite well without any Chinese apps. Uh, Wi-Fi assistance, so you've got this traffic mode, allocate bandwidth to apps and background downloads, fast connection and balance, smart network acceleration also available here. So you can support your network with your SIM card, with your LTE or 5G. Basically, if, if, if your Wi-Fi is not that fast, you can activate this option and it will be supported from your... Uh, uh, cellular connection and dual band Wi-Fi is also quite nice feature you can connect directly to two bands at the same time so it means 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz for example so let's disable all those features and move on to Bluetooth in Bluetooth uh, pair compatibility devices and the Bluetooth block list which is, was not here before I guess but I don't know whether this feature is useful I never used it before so but they added Portable hotspot, that's still everything here, same as before, VPN, nothing special, nothing changed. Connection share, MIUI plus beta, that was uh, added in a MIUI 12.5. Uh, use hands of this app screen board, so I think work with your tablet, so I think this option is new, I don't remember that it was here before. So basically handoff is a uh, handoff with apps, clipboards, videos and other items on other devices associated with your Xiaomi account. Uh, I don't know whether it works, I've tried once with my Xiaomi laptop in general uh, this feature, MIUI Plus, but it didn't work well, so I just give up, basically. But they show how you can use it, you can transfer your video from, uh, from your phone to your tablet, you can transfer any documents, clipboard, just copy-paste, so the hotspot, also shareable, and apps. Uh, Alright, all the other features seem same as before, Android Auto basically looks like regular Android, I don't know why MIUI did, did not update it and somehow adopt it to MIUI system, but yeah, it's here, so you can connect the car and use it. Mm, cast, nothing more, nothing special, Mi Share is same, same, so let's keep it. Wallpaper and personalization, basically, let's see, uh, seems here, before it was, I think, different logo, so, but now they made it more beautiful, ringtones, uh, yeah, from MIUI 13 they added uh, many uh, other ringtones that can be used, looks good. 
uh, notifications here, also quite nice new designs that can be adjusted and library of course you've got super, uh, super wallpapers, snow peak, uh, no changes, uh, geometry as a new one from USRT and oh, looks nice. Uh, far away rings uh, also quite old one no changes with this one home here I think they changed some landing points uh, Italy they have Greece Greenland uh, China and Croatia for red planet for Mars we've got also some new landing point it's also five same as uh, in the home or our earth uh, must have all papers so before it was not here but it needs Wi-Fi I will not turn it on right now so also edit this button must have all papers uh, icons yeah now it's more clearly adjustable actually here uh, with watches lock screen owner info you can show it here so they change it a bit from other model I think it was on the lock screen before uh, all right, let's go to lock screen. Basically, sleeping, double tap, rise to wake, uh, no changes uh, seem here. Display charging animation after device is unlocked. Keep displaying charging animation after device unlock. Hiding only for video playback. All right, I think it was here. Uh, display, dark mode, uh, still here. Same settings, uh, reading mode, brightness level, still here. Color scheme, skill, still here. Refresh rate still here. Would see maybe something else. No, no, not this time. Uh, sound and touch. So they added this touch in MIUI 13 that works quite nice and it's like haptic feedback. Uh, now, yeah, you hear the sound. Of course, you don't feel it, but it feels quite nice. So let's disable it. Sound quite annoying. Uh, yeah. So you can adjust some, you can check some demos and adjust ha a haptic feedback level. Uh, from sound itself, yes, it told you new notification with a new design, sound assistant, uh, I think it was here from UI 13, so just med media sound in multiple apps, multiple audio sources and allow speaker sound, so those three options are available. Um, Okay, do not disturb mode when device is locked. So actually this one is new before it was not here So I think now when device is locked it will work only when device is open the disturb mode will not uh, operate Additional settings mm, Nothing special so just keep it notification so notification shade me Android I use Android expand top notification uh, Let's try me I Tired of Android One apps notification from apps is are here. Uh, yeah, just uh, all the descriptions. The uh, this notification, the bar, the control center. Yeah, so it looks modern from UI 13. I have this one, so it looks quite nice, and I really like the style. It's really comfortable to use. Only I don't like that it doesn't adjust here, so it just keep empty. So I think. If I fill in with the apps, it will be much better. But yeah, I get used to it and it looks uh, really nice, I think, uh, the style. And here from bottom you can change to notification. Notification uh, also can be like floating, can be lock screen and pages. You can set it up. Also, you can add smart home here, a notification regarding smart home. If you need it, if you use it. Uh, Smart home, I disable work with new version of control center, control center, so yeah, item shown the lock screen, ah, alright, so it's a lock screen. Says bar, so here it's without changes, I guess, you have this hide notch, which is not really useful. Alright, let's move on to home screen, let's see what's here. Avowed settings, yeah, they added, they added, uh, they updated this one. So, as you see, you can disable it, you can enable it, you can dashboard, search bar, you can remove, actually I don't need search bar. Place most frequently used widgets on the dashboard, so, okay, let's keep it. Uh, okay, that's nice. Uh, search, uh, swipe up search provider. Home screen search bar, double tap to lock screen. Mm, remove text from widgets. Yes, it's new one definitely. 
So basically they arranged a bit the home screen and especially the left bar, how is it called, app vault. Uh, remove text, global icons animation, arrange item recent, show memory status, show suggestions. Uh, nothing more here. Password, security, uh, okay, face unlock, screen lock, finger unlock. So still same here as before. Mm, wireless emergency alert. Ah, all right, so that's uh, by default from Google that you can adjust privacy protection. I will not even check it. <laughs> battery, or you have save battery mode from since MIUI 13, it's adjusted to this one. So you have performance mode, balance mode, and uh, save battery mode, and ultra battery saver mode. And here, uh, before, uh, now showing the temperature, of course, it's cool, charge per day, five times. Uh, a battery saver for each app before it was adjustable charging but now they hide this one I think they activated by default but I'm not sure about this so uh, let's see but uh, this option came from iOS from Apple so it shows quite well for your battery improvement uh, okay apps um, we'll skip this I think additional settings uh, region language LED one hand mode clear speaker memory extension 3 so gigabytes of RAM quite nice to have additionally mm, LED light so pretty much it let's just check uh, one more screen time so focus mode no adjustments here special features sidebar they put in special so always show show while playing a video so this sidebar can improve your sound this life hack floating video floating windows so yeah still working for long time uh, MUI lab uh, AI preloading uh, activated this one and light mode so from settings uh, I think that's it from taskbar uh, that's it from app vault basically uh, here, yeah, they adjusted, they make it more international, more adjusted to global, remove Chinese apps in this version. So you've got quite nice widgets that are uh, used for, uh, for any market. So you have weather, security, uh, notes and clock. So they're really working on this one to make it useful for global market. And you have dual clock, gallery, security, uh, time usage, screen time, etc. weather. So as you see, quite convenient to have when I connect my headphones, it's also showing me the status of my battery and how long I can use it. So it's really convenient. All right, widgets. Uh, let's see, maybe something changed here. Uh, seems that all the widgets still same from the apps. No new widgets coming here. Mm. What else can be adjusted from the the bar, the volume bar, still the same, so it's quite convenient, you have slide to timer, slide to set timer and slide to set uh, the mode to, do not disturb or without sound mode. Uh, I guess it's pretty much it about this update, so using for several days and it works not bad. Uh, I will try it uh, for battery, but I feel now that battery improved. Uh, continues with uh, comparing with the uh, previous version 1306 where the battery was a weak place of this uh, software after using it for two months I think that I started to feel that my battery is uh, degradating so basically pretty much it about this uh, update uh, I think you can recommend I can recommend you to update especially if you have previous version 1306 you will feel how your phone works uh, a, a bit better let's say yeah you, you will have some minor adjustments security adjustments some d small design features app vault features but in general it will still good quality MIUI 13 from Xiaomi and guys, thank you very much for watching, put the thumbs up and see you next time.